over the sun, baby. Over the sun. Get you some of that. All right, y'all. Something a little different. I'm doing this before the run. This is my fire team. She's pretty built. I'll go over the car real quick with you. I've had a few guys asking about it. Let's start off with this body. The panels don't hold up worth a poop. All right. My recommendation, I didn't do it until it was too late. I would get bigger washers and put behind the screws before you even run the car just because they're going to come loose and fall off and rip and everything else but I found if you put the bigger washers behind it it holds it a little bit better all right also I bolted mine together I through bolted it in certain places to hold it more rigid so that's just another thing you can do wherever the the plastic rods meet together just through bolt it if it's not already all right moving on to the car this truck is fully beef caked out with just about everything I could get for it um Kimberly produced the carbon fiber that's on the car i'll go over that here in a minute i got m2c goodies on here as well a little bit of vitavon custom rc upgrades hot racing it's all on here castle hobby wing anyway let's start out with the chassis it's a m2c chassis chassis braces the rear tower support the zrs shock system all from m2c also i have their captured hinge pins suspension hinge pins front and back yeah, that's pretty much it for M2C. Besides their CVDs and their outdrive cups, all M2C. Vitavon hubs front and back, Vitavon bolt cases. Kimberly hooked me up with the towers, the tower to tower, the beefcake top plate, servo mount, ESC mount, all Basher Queen. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. RPM V5 arms front and rear. Castle Mamba Monster X 8S ESC with a 1650. Hobby wing, and I think I'm geared 22 on the pinion, I believe. 20 or 22. Hot racing servo horn. But if you guys just got this car, that's the whole point of this video. If you just got this car and you want to do some upgrades, the first thing I would do, move this back. I think it comes all the way forward. Move it back. Just do it. If not, this car is going to nosedive on every jump and you're going to have end up having catastrophic failure. The second upgrade I would do, this one will cost you some money, is get the rear tower support from M2C. It connects the rear tower to the chassis brace, which is connected to the chassis. So it's putting all the force when you land on the rear of the car down to the center of the chassis. It protects the bulkhead, the tower. It just it does a lot. That would be my number one that I would go to. After that, get rid of the plastic chassis braces and put aluminum chassis braces in there. They don't have to be M2C, even though M2C probably makes the best ones out there. You can get the EXB ones and put on there. If you're running a stock chassis, I would stay with the stock tower to tower. That's just my opinion. What else? Yeah, and just move on through. Just run the car and upgrade it as necessary. I would definitely check your diffs. I, I, you don't have to go through the shocks. I've never had an issue with the shocks. You can go through the diffs if you want. Um, but to be honest, if it was me, I would just run the damn car. That's what I would do. All right, y'all, let's get out there and bash this sucker. I took the 6S backflips and put on here as well. If you want to make it wider, y'all, you can put the Creighton hubs and stub axles on it to make it wider because I think it comes with the, the Talon hubs and stub axles if i'm not mistaken custom rc upgrade center shafts let's get out there and bash this joker i'll do a little overview after the run as well all right y'all made it back out here with my great almighty fire team let's give it a quick rip Ooh, baby she's a screamer get you some of the screamer oh hit the damn fence get you some you want to see a fire team get down come to the meat pit Whew. 130 all day baby oh watch the swamp buggy up there baby you you got what I need. Just scream a little bit. Just scream a little bit. <laughs> oh, couldn't see that joker. I had dirt in my eyeballs. Gotta stay in the sunlight or this camera won't go. My pro go, baby, you. Holy moly. Holy moly. I gotta get out of this. I'm getting killed over here, y'all. The salami's getting took out. 
Uh oh, my mom and daddy are watching me. Oh, get you some of that, baby. Watch the swamp buggy. We're gonna try a blow by in the wind, y'all. Yeah, Mac that chassis, baby, with authority. I'm not turning really good. Here we go. Full trigger pull. I just got pockets full of dirt. Poof, can't do that no more. I'm gonna jump the other jump. Over the sun, baby. Over the sun. Get you some of that, basher boys. Come on through, girl. Full trigger pull. Whew. God. Yeah, I didn't like this truck at first, y'all, but she's definitely grown on me. God. She gets farther at every jump. Come on, go over the sun. Go over the sun! Double, baby, over the sun. Who does that? You know who does that shit? The salami, baby. Get you some. I'm a little bit off right now, y'all. Almost pulled a fronty because of the wind, but... <laughs> yeah, my family's big time into the circus, so I'm doing my circus performance. <laughs> That's no joke, look me up. Alright, John, I'm gonna wrap this up. I've had enough. I just wanted to give y'all an overview on my car. Yeah, get you some of that front flip twist with a bend. I have no idea what I just said, but this shit looked cool, didn't it? All right, y'all, I'm gonna go visit with my mom and dad a little bit. We'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace. Back up at the house again with the almighty fire team. Nothing broke, y'all. I just had to wrap that run up quick. My parents came over. They come over on Fridays, so I had to wrap it up real quick. I don't have much time to do this either. A 6,000 Ovonic that I put carbon fiber tape on. It's the first one I did that way. Seems to be working pretty good. I'm tired of these lipos coming unwrapped. Anyway, I already went over the car, but as you can see, the car is still in one piece. Chassis still super straight. The only issue I don't like with these cars is these little wings right here get full of dirt and grass. I mean, it's just a pain in the ass. I had to through bolt it because so much shit gets under there, it, push, it pulls the screws out. Other than that, it's an awesome truck. Go get you one if you ain't got one. All right, y'all, I'm losing my marbles. I got to get off before I say something stupid. Er. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.